Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am using a brand new product. Actually, it comes out on March 5th. It is an ex online exclusive from Stamping Up. And um, we've got a whole slew of new online exclusive products coming out, so make sure to check them out. Um, this is my favorite of the selection filled with fun it's a little wagon and i have spent a couple of days making lots of samples for you including samples that have things in the wagon that aren't included in in the stamp set so make sure you come back to check out those projects they're really fun um but today we're gonna make this card and the first idea i had for this card was to make um, a sliding wagon look at that so i'm going to show you how to do that it's really not very difficult um use we're going to use some button magnets okay all right let's do our stamping first we've got lots of stamping to do here um the first thing we're going to stamp is a little collection of birthday goodies inside i'm going to stamp it down here at the bottom okay memento black and then we will stamp the actual wagon body in blueberry bushel and we'll stamp that right there okay um we're going to stamp the sentiment also in blueberry bushel and the sentiment that i decided to use is not from this stamp set i needed something long and skinny i didn't want to take away from the rest of the card so i am using just the hooray from the hooray for surprises from our spring catalog and i'm just going to you can use post-it tape or post-it notes to mask off the bottom of the words but when you have a clear mount stamp like this you can usually get it inked pretty good by just looking and look i just got some down here so let's wipe that off that last little dab of ink i got it on there all right i'm going to stamp that down here okay again in blueberry bushel um, let's see what else we need our little handle and we're gonna do pecan pie which i left on the other project tray there's the handle what else do we need we need tires right so we'll do two tires one and two Okay, I think that covers it. Um, we're actually going to cut out uh, a second wagon body, if you will, um, just out of basic white to make in the, we're going to make a little sandwich there on the back. Um, it's just going to kind of hold everything together and it's going to give us a place to put our magnets. All right, so let's get this all lined up. I am going to use post-it tape to assure myself that most of these stay. You know, let's color first. How about that? Let's do some coloring first. The colors I decided to use, the color theme are Lemon Lolly, Calypso Coral, Berry Burst, and Blueberry Bushel. All right, I always like to start with the lightest colors first and, you know, use whatever colors you want. I was trying to do something different than what I had done on the other, uh, my first card, which was all red, mostly red and bright. So I was trying to choose some colors that I don't normally use. Um, we're gonna do, let's do this. We're gonna take dark Calypso Coral and we're gonna outline basically our cake and these little icing bumps down here on the bottom of the cake, we're going to color those in, bump, 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 bump. I am using the bullet point end of my, uh, of my cake, no, of my marker. That helps um, for me to stay in the lines, really. All right, I'm gonna color this bow over here in Calypso Coral. Like that. Now let's get our light Calypso Coral. And we're gonna color in. Now I don't wanna color the icing. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. We're gonna leave it vanilla. All right, but we can color in that cake like that. Now let's get Berry Burst Light and we'll color in our bow.
Berry Burst is one of our newer colors that I don't use very often. But I, when I do use it, I'm thinking, wow, why don't I use this color more often? I really like it. All right, now I'm gonna take my marker and just add some polka dots to the paper in the back. Like that, okay? I'm gonna color, let's see, I, can, I think I'm gonna do something different. I wasn't real happy with my color combo on the last one. So let's do Berry Burst here on this gift. And then the other one we'll do Blueberry Bushel. Okay. Now Blueberry Bushel is one of those colors that is very dark. So I'm only going to use the light, the light Blueberry Bushel. All right, last but not least, we'll color in this present. Now what you could do if you wanted to do less coloring is to leave the presents white and just color the bows. That's an option. And looks like I forgot some of our ribbon down here, our Calypso Coral ribbon. Color that. Okay, I think we're ready. But now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is grab, let's get the post-it tape. This is post-it tape, I'll have it linked on my blog. It is my favorite, oops, that's the wrong guy. My favorite non-stamping product. It's uh, just good old post-it tape and I use it daily. Now this stamp set has two ways that you can make the wagon. You can stamp it like we're doing here, um, or you can paper piece it, which is what this, this die is for. You can just cut the pieces from um, cardstock. And I think that's actually my favorite way. I always am a fan of paper piecing. I don't think these guys need to be taped down. Now, what about our sentiment? I used another new online exclusive, this little tiny die set, Happy Little Things dies. It's just these two little banners, which I love a good banner. So let's see if we can get that layered right there. Okay, what do you guys think? Are we ready? We can get it all done in one swoop. Let's make sure. Nothing moves. Fingers crossed. I think we did all right. All right. So we've got our tires, our wheels. We've got our banner. We've got, let's get all of these off. Our handle. The handle is also something you could just cut from cardstock if you wanted. But why not stamp it? All right, now we're gonna leave all of that. Actually, oops, one more thing, and this is really important. You need to cut that one uh, die that we used right here for the body of our wagon. You need to cut one more um, basic white, just plain basic white. Um, that's actually also going to give us a place to glue our tires because, as you'll see in a minute, if you don't, adhere this down to your card front there's nowhere to put your tires okay where do we start well we're going to start first by gluing this on here i'm going to use glue a combination of glue and dimensionals okay so that's liquid glue and we're just going to adhere that right across like that now i'm going to bring in my dimensionals you guys know I love dimensionals. And I'm gonna put them across here like this. And we're gonna adhere it onto this, but we're gonna do it just a little bit higher like that. So that's gonna give us a place to adhere our tires. We're going to just stick up a little bit of glue in there and we'll stick those guys just in like that. So see what I mean? You don't really have a place to adhere your tires 
if you don't put that backing piece on there. All right, now let's see, we're gonna put the handle, all right, here, okay? Hopefully I've given us enough time to dry while we do the other things. Let's get a piece of grid paper and we'll set that down. Um, also here, we're gonna put our hooray. And I have been using my adhesive strips a lot lately. They're really good with the, these long and skinny things. You can just cut one of your adhesive strips and put it on. These are really great for when you're paper piecing the wagon as well. Okay, now our little guy needs to dry. And let's work on the slider component, oops, of our card. You are going to need a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is two and a half by five and another piece of crumb, crumb cake that is five and a half by three fourths. There'll be a free PDF on my blog for you um, with the measurements. On this two and a half inch piece, we're gonna score it at one and two. And then we're just gonna fold in the half inch and fold the other side over. Now grab your tear and tape, put your tear and tape across here like that. There we go. And fold it over. Now you've made a tunnel, okay? This is gonna slide in like that. Now in a minute, we're gonna put, um, we're gonna put our magnets on this and then we're gonna slide it into our tunnel. But let's put the other parts of our card together first. I'm gonna stamp the little hearts in crumb cake. This heart is also from the same stamp set. And I'm just gonna kind of do an up and down pattern. And I don't need to go all the way down because we're gonna put this slider on there. Okay. Now take your tear and tape again. Tear and tape's really strong and it's gonna hold our slider in place. And we're gonna put that right there at the bottom like that. So now this is going to slide in and out like this. I have cut a piece of glorious gingham designer series paper we're gonna put over it. So let's do that. You know, I'm thinking, no, I think we'll be all right. I feel like I might have put that a little bit too low. You know, now I think we are, we did put it a little bit too low. Let's just move it up. We're not gonna be able to see that at all. I know you're like, oh my gosh. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's just move it up. We want it kind of halfway in between our DSP like that. So just halfway. There we go, and now we'll adhere this. Is that straight? And we'll here adhere that to that. Okay, so now the little tunnel that you made is hidden back there. All right, bring over your cute little wagon. And we're gonna have to put, first you gotta kind of think about where you want the magnets. The reason putting it so low, I guess we could have put the magnets on the tires, but I feel like they're kind of a weak point. I wanted to put them here in the center. So I knew that my, um, my tunnel needed to be a little bit higher. Okay, so we're gonna put these um, magnets, these button magnets, I get them from Amazon. I've got a link for you on my blog. We're gonna put one here and one here. Now these magnets have, for whatever reason I have found, they are stronger if you put two glue dots. That's the, the best way, other than hot glue, which is a mess, that's the best way I have found to do these. All right, so we're gonna put that there and that there. Now one magnet won't do it because then your wagon is wobbly, okay? Now get two more and set them on there. 
And we're gonna put our two more glue dots, and you can actually pick them up at the same time. Put that right on there and get two more and set that one right there. Okay, come on glue dot, not to me, stick to the magnet. <laughs> and when you use your scissors, it sticks to the magnet. Okay, now think about your placement. Let's see, we're, we're gonna have this right here. So we want these magnets to go right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take that off. See where those magnets are, push them in real good. Slide it through your little mechanism. And believe it or not, these magnets are strong enough to attach through those layers of paper. Isn't that so cute? All right, that we did it. Now, grab your blueberry bushel card base, and I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals, just because I love dimensionals. There we go. We'll put that on there right in the center. This is a three and three fourths by five inch piece of crumb cake. Now what about for the inside? Let's do something fun on the inside. Let's get that little banner that is, I think designed really to go on your wagon, but I'm gonna put it on the inside. We're gonna do one there and one there. And then we're gonna stamp the sentiment and I think I'll do that in memento black, celebrating someone special, like that. And then if you had your berry burst, which I don't, your berry burst ink pad, you can add in some confetti in there with a confetti stamp. And last but not least, we'll put this on the inside. And there you have your card that moves. A slider wagon card. Oh, what did I forget? My little tiny bow, I think that's the cutest part. Don't forget, a little twine bow right on the handle. Can you think of someone special who would love this card? I'm thinking grandkids, nieces, nephews, or maybe just a friend. I mean, who doesn't love a card that moves? And when they know that you made it, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? All right, so just put that right there. And now we're done. Okay, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. There's a free PDF and there's two other filled with love projects. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.